Hello and welcome to today's video, which is a little bit special. Oh, it's Tia Thursday. Tia Thursday. Um, it's not just about a Tia portal. It is about my newest project that I began uh, not some time ago, but very short time ago. Um, and I want you in with this. Right? I want your input. I want to see if this is actually something useful. I basically want to see in the comments, hey, I would like this and that, and that's a cool thing. Can you continue with this and keep us up to date? Or this is total nonsense. Just don't do it. Stuff like that. So I will need your help with this. Um, yeah, let's basically start. It's going to be a short video because there's not much I can show yet, um, but that's fine. So let's see. I've got Tia Portal prepared here. Most of you are very familiar with uh, Tia Portal now. If you've watched all my, I think, 87 videos by now um, of Tia Portal, you are very familiar with it. I am coming from education. I am coming from training and from industry. And I want to make um, training more accessible, Tia Portal and PLC training more accessible. That's why I have started a project. It doesn't seem very, very big right now or very impressive or so, but I am going to work on it. Uh, in my spare time, so um, might take some time, but probably not because it's so much fun when I started. This is what the project looks like right now. Not very, not very impressive, right? Not very impressive, but you see, so I am working currently on a 3D software, right? On a 3D software where not much has happened yet. This is just the progress I, I have so far. There's an engine behind that I had to write. It's there's some stuff in, in the background. So there's basically this thing here, a box, right? I can kick the box and there's this conveyor belt thingy. And I have right now this thing and this thing and this thing. So two buttons and a um, light barrier, a sensor. So this is easily, I can easily improve this and get more sensors, more, better stuff. Of course, the graphics will improve as well. Right now it's just this little 3D thingy here, um, yeah. What's cool about this right now, if I try to press the green button, nothing happen happens. If I press the red button, nothing happens. If I press this, nothing happens as well. Um, what I can do, why does nothing happen? Make a guess because this is right now linked to Tia. It is actually controlled by a PLC. Currently, it's controlled with the physical PLC I have here and you see my program is empty. I can easily up, uh, change this and make it into the so into a um, PLC SIM thingy. It's actually very simple. It worked. I had I already had it working with PLC SIM Advanced. I'll also make it work with PLC SIM. So pretty simple actually. If I go here, let's let's write a simple program. Let's say if green button. I have made those before. I called it green cube because it is actually a cube, not just a button. Um, green cube then conveyor on. Right. So let's download that to my physical PLC that I have here and let's see what happens. I can, uh, well, I can't press the glasses here, but you can't see Tia Portal because, well, my software is going to be in front actually. So here we go. But if I press now the green button, right, you see the box is actually wandering. The box is actually going on, right? So this is really linked to Tia Portal in the end, Tia Portal to a real physical PLC. So, uh, I could also simulate more, like, let's see, what can we simulate? Hey, I, will, I want to have actually an SR thingy here. That's said reset. I want uh, the, the conveyor belt should be turned on, um, should be turned on with the green cube and should turn off with the red cube. Right? Stuff like this, simple stuff like this. I want to implement in this software so that everyone can basically learn. Very easy, very simple, not having a real system, but having this simulated system there, especially with Industry 4.0, digital twins, stuff like that. Uh, this becomes a big topic, right? I have this, I can press the cube, I can press start, right? It goes on and on and on. I can press stop and it stops, right? Um, let's see if I can actually also put that in Tia. Now you can't really see it because I cannot put Tia in the front here. That's how it is. Wait, can I do this? And put now put the other thing on the side. No, I cannot, unfortunately. But what you could see, oh wait, let, let's reset. What you can actually see if I press this button, you see in TR portal it gives me, hey, the conveyor belt is on. Right? The conveyor belt is on. If I press the other button, you could see conveyor belt is off. So you can really see that. So let's instead of taking the red cube, let's actually take this light barrier that I have installed. Right. I've got a light barrier. And you see, this is one-on-one. -on -one. This is I'm 
right now programming, I have always this system with me, right? It is right there. So I don't need to go into any lab. Could be easily more systems, could be easily a lot of different things, right? Let's reset for now and let's press the green thing, right? And it goes on and on and on. So let's see the TR program here, it goes on and on until it hits the light barrier at some point in time. And then we're going to have these in, the input from the light barrier and we're going in the conveyor belt. See, so that's the project I am working on right now. What I want, not want, what I would like to have is some, wait, one more thing actually, one more thing. <laughs> right now it is simulation, but at the same time, I have a push button here, like a physical push button. I can also connect, even right now, it is a physical system here as well with the real PLC. It is linked, so I have even this, I gave it a name, physical button. I gave it the name physical button, so let's download the physical button here. So I can also work with the real physical button. So please turn on conveyor, conveyor turns on. You also see I have a physical feedback, the green LED turned on. As soon as the box hits the barrier, you see the green LED also turns off. So I have the feedback in the real world. So I can simulate systems with this. Very easy, very simple, mostly for learning. So what I need from you, I don't need it, I would like to have it, is a comment or two to, hey, it would be great if this software would have standardized sensors. Hey, it would be great if you could connect to different types of PLCs. Hey, robots would be cool. Hey, this and that. Hey, something, some input on what such a simulation software for learning. This is for training. This is this is for industry training, right? This is for industry training, not, not for creating your own systems and making it big and testing out and having a real digital twin stuff like this not there this is really mainly for training right oh i want to have here trainings included like level one is just turning on the belt with a push button level two is a set reset level three is that and that right edge triggered stuff stuff like this easily implemented i just need some inputs on this that would be great um or if you say this is bullshit, just don't do that. that that's nonsense. There's factory I.O. and other things that are way better and very expensive. Um, well, then that's also an input. Then I won't do it. <laughs> if there's like 50 guys saying don't do it, um, sure, then it's a bad idea. I think it's a good idea because I like this. I always wanted to have something like this because it's so easy to use now. Hey, I press the green button. It turns on and I can walk around and I can still influence my system. Box, go away. <laughs> Well, the physics, you saw the, f well, it's still, <laughs> it's still somehow worked. Ah, go out of the light barrier here, go, go away. <clears throat> um, yeah, so a little fun tool playing around. This has been, creating this has been some effort actually, but also fun. And I want to improve the graphics and everything on it. So also put comments like this. Hey, we want real physical hardware in there, real physical looking things. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I am having so much fun making this. I hope you like it. If you um, like this, leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe to stay up to date with this project and others. And also uh, Tier Tuesday, Tier Thursday. Sorry, next week I will get into some Tier stuff again. I mean, this is Tier, but still something else. Um, yeah. And thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye and already thanks for your feedback. Bye bye.